welcome to my channel if you are new welcome it's a pleasure to have you if you are not new it's always a pleasure to have you my name is Z and on this channel sustainability matters which means that I focus on slow fashion which means that I haul stuff from my closet I thrift as well as I swap clothing items and I try my very best to wear my synthetic items to death. So with that said, today we are going to look at how to wear bold floral prints. And if you notice, bold floral prints are everywhere. Dolce & Gabbana is very famous for having bold floral prints. Over at Zara, we see the trend is continuing and I just love bold floral prints. Even this popular influencer that I follow, Lydia Millen, I see her wearing bold floral prints, very big ones, which is so uncommon for her because she's more of a classic person. So today I'm styling pieces from my closet and I'll be looking first at trousers. And number one is this piece that I got from a store called Dynamite. It's very popular and of course common in Canada. And it's, it's one of those stores that it's very similar to Zara as well. So I dabbled in pieces from that store before I converted into slow fashion. And one of my tricks on how to wear bold floral pieces, because they're so bold and they're so big, is to pair it with something that is very neutral and in a solid color. So this cold shoulder, ah, uh, guys, I love a great cold shoulder. It's one of my signature styles and I don't care if it goes out of style, I'll be wearing it forever. Oh, and look at the tie neck. Oh my God. So yes, guys. And of course, here is the same pants, but I wanted to show you this portion of it as well, because this is how I paired it for work. The previous one was I paired it for a casual Friday look as well, but this is a regular day, mid week kind of look. And I'm pairing it with this top. Unfortunately, it's polyester. And this is another way that you can get bang for your money. And the top is probably about seven years old. And the pants is about three years old. I would say the tote is by Ralph Lauren and it's a hundred percent leather I've had it for over seven years now so. sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video so this second piece is no stranger to you guys it was one of zara's best sellers and it is also a huge floral print but because of the fact that the color is so gorgeous everybody fell for it and I didn't keep it, but I'm showing it here for those of you who did. It is, of course, 100% polyester based on the feel and as well as just the look of it. The top I still have, and while it is a gorgeous top, it is also 100% synthetic fiber. This second high-waisted pants, oh my god, I you guys know I love high-waisted pants, right? And all of the ones here you would see they are all high-waisted because that's it's my signature look and it's something I'll never stop wearing either. 
cold shoulder and high-waisted pants they are my vibe they are my jam and I love them because you look elegant and you look great and regardless of whether or not it's a bold big floral print I know some people don't like big floral print they think that they date easily but for me I love them and based on what you've seen from the high-end brands they have been around forever so this piece I love because it's a hundred percent natural fiber and I, I just love it as you can see from the Gucci print it's very very similar as well and now on to dresses this first piece is a piece that I fell in love with it on site and it's a piece from forever 21 it's about soccer 2015 I think yeah so I love it because it has oh I love red and I love blush pink I love cold shoulder so when you combined all those aspects I, I, I fell hard for this piece unfortunately it doesn't have the material composition I think this is the second item from forever 21 that doesn't have that and it's bad number two is also a piece from forever 21 and this is very similar to the first print from the high-waisted pants from dynamite that you saw and I love it as well the bag is by Rebecca Minkoff unfortunately the dress while it's very long and elegant I love maxi dresses some people seem to think that maxi dresses can age you but if you're tall you can really wear maxi dresses and wear them at any age and when they come in a bold print all you need is just simplicity just pair it with one of your favorite bags wear a sandal and minimal lipstick or whatever you choose and you're good to go now on to kimonos i love a great kimono this one is a piece from zara again i think it's about four years old so yeah a couple a couple seasons ago when it was really really another popular piece as well and i still have it it's not going anywhere <laughs> i love it i still wear it every single summer i'll be wearing this piece and it's a really versatile piece because it is a piece that is part of that pajama robe trend so i can wear it as a robe when i get up in the mornings and i don't care who think it's nasty i love that and i can wear it with a high-waisted pants and i'm good to go so it's a piece that it is of great material as well as you have just seen it is a hundred percent viscose outer shell but the inner lining that silky part is a hundred percent polyester i hate that but i'm wearing it to death so yeah i was outside waiting for my bus in that piece i love that piece as well it is a hundred percent polyester and it's also a versatile piece because it can be worn as a beach wear as well as you you see me wearing it here as a kimono so i hope you enjoyed this video and remember sustainability matters which means you focus on natural fibers fabric then fit then style and you don't buy new polyester items polyester is bad so thank you guys so much for watching and as i always say remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique 
and drop dead gorgeous. Love you.